Hi folks, a very warm welcome to you. It's Nick here, which I'm sure you're expecting me to say, and we're looking at a homebrew game called Two Feet in Fanland on the ZX Spectrum 48K, which was published by Paul Jenkinson in 2012. We've already looked at two other games in this series, well, future ones really, a Two Feet's Winter Nuts in 2013 and Two Feet's Nasty Nightmare in 2020, and those games were both marvellous, so we're interested to see how, the, well, the first game in the series looks. Now, essentially, there's Two Feet here. His nuts have been stolen and scattered in this um, maze, uh, 40 of them, Ooh, a bit unusual there, and we must go and collect them. Now as you can see there's fans blowing us in different directions, occasionally we go upside down, and we must try and work out the path to get out of the, uh, the room and to the next one and get all the nuts. So 40 nuts to collect, and if you bump into any of the other uh, enemies, then it's uh, certainly Doomsville, right? Right, I think you've got it. Plays really good uh, at the moment. Let's see how far I can get on this thing. So I've worked that out. Live's fire. Let's go, go, go. Don't bump into the enemies. Uh, there's some nuts there. They're on the right there, collect that nut. So I think you can work it out. So I need to drop down here, not bump into that thing flying across. Hit this fan to go upside down. Drop down there. Right, now let's just not bump into this thing and away we go. Now it's going to get more difficult the further we go in. Now apparently there are secret rooms in this to find, if you find them. Um, not obvious where they are, that's why they are a secret. So Toofy in Fanland, Toofy is a bit of a weird animal. I still haven't quite worked out what sort of animal he is, whether he's a squirrel or an alien or something, but he's definitely something. I'm loving this game. This is good. Now all three of the Toofy games, and um, hats off to Paul Jenkinson, do feel very different from each other. He hasn't just copied what's gone on in the previous game and then churned out the same sort of stuff. He's shown a bit of invention here. Um, so do look at the three other reviews I've done. Uh, Toofy's Winter Nuts 2013, a year after this one, and a little bit later, Toofy's Nutty Nightmare. All of them brilliant for different reasons, and they ooze class. I think this one's been made with AGD, the arcade game designer, which is another utility that Paul uh, developed, which is, uh, a lot of other people have used since to create some really good cracking games. So well done to him. But let's just see how far I can get in this game. See if I can get to a certain point where the walls change colour. Four lives left. Two feet in Fanland. Not Funland, it's Fanland. Away goes, upside down. Do track this one down if you can, I highly recommend it. Um, if you're looking to try and um, download it, I download it from a site called Spectrum Computing. Uh, I think I've got a TZX file or a TAP file, but either one, if you've got emulation, they will work, or somehow, if you're clever, put it onto tape and load in a real uh, ZX Spectrum. Right, I think I know what to do. I need to go up to the right somehow. That's it. Drop down there. That's it. Get the nut. And I think we're going to get through. Good. Good, good, good. Right, 48k. This has been playing on 2012. Uh, the year that the UK had the Olympics. You might watch the Olympics or you might have been playing this instead. Or this might be the first time you've watched it. Oh man. Every Wednesday, tend to review a uh, homebrew on the ZX Spectrum. Uh, lots to choose from, but I'm sure I'll run out at some point. Um, don't tend to review the text adventure ones um, there. So apologies there. I, I, I struggle to make them into an entertaining video. Though having said that, I might review a, a Secret Diary of Age on Mole at some point, which isn't a homebrew as such, it was one from back in the day. But it's a classic, so you might get a bit of nostalgia from that, so I might do that in the future. Right, the walls have changed blue here, you sort of like might have noticed, which is good, which means I'm getting some sort of distance. I might have a few goes on this. Uh, he's got one tooth, Toofy, and that's why I suppose he's called uh, Toofy. Well done, Tooth. So far, there's just been one enemy, isn't there, to avoid each time. To try and work out their path going round. So it's quite easy for the uh, newbie. Um, so it does draw you in. It's not overly difficult, first of all. So it just makes you want to play it more and more, which is always a sign, I think, of a good game. It's going to get a bit more difficult later on, I presume. Oh dear, I've died. Nick, you was getting too cocky there. Brilliant game, good graphics, uh, good sound for what there is there, good movement and a very good idea. I can't immediately think of any games uh, quite like this. It's very smooth the way the character changes direction, good use of gravity, uh, plays for your mind a little bit and I like games like that, but not as much as Jet Set Wibble, which was uh, one we looked at previously, Jet Set Willy, it was all upside down. Go Toofy. If your name is Toofy, there's another nut there, but 40 to go, so we've got at least 40 uh, screens to look at. Uh, they're not samey, they all are pretty much different. Boom. Right, okay, so there's the nut on the bottom right. 
Just, just stay, stay out the way of that thing. Oh, that was a bit... I was, Yeah, game over. That was a bit silly of me. I really should have hung back. Definitely worth another go, I think, to see if I can get a little bit further in this. I'm a Toofy fan. If there's any other Toofy games that come out, I'll certainly have a look at them. But I don't think Paul Jenkinson... Well, I don't know for sure. Uh, I don't know if Paul is actually uh, developing any more. He might be a busy man. He might be doing other stuff. But uh, yeah, very, very talented in the games he creates and the utilities as well. We've used quite a lot of games made with AGD, Arcade Game Designer, but there's, there's other ones as well, Platform Designer, Platformer Designer, and, and a few others. Looks quite nice, this. Moves quite well. Uh, if it had come out back in the day, of course, um, when I say back in the day, Spectrum in the 80s, preferably, um, it would have been a huge, huge hit. But different compilers, different things to get the best out of the game. Right, I should be doing a speed run now because I sort of like know what I'm doing. You know what, what to do happen as well. So if you load this one, hopefully I've got you off to a good start. But I'm sure you would have worked it out anyway. Um, your main enemy in this one, if you um, you lose patience, go a bit earlier than you should do. You're not on a timer here, so you've got as long as you want. Within reason, you couldn't wait like 58 years or something. It almost started going a bit wrong. Oh dear. That was obvious what was going to happen there, Nick. It was obvious what was going to happen there. Right, so we've got five lives left though. Very generous in the amount of lives that you have. Oh, what a feeling when we're dancing on the ceiling. Or as I used to say, oh, what a feeling when you're dancing with Jan Leeming. Jan Leeming was a news reader. Um, yeah, she doesn't read the news anymore. Riz Latif's my favourite news reader. Riz Latif, the finest girl you ever want to meet. Da, ba, da, ba. Yeah. Um, if you're not from the UK, you probably don't know who Riz Latif is. Google it. Riz Latif. Da 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 Anyway, stop talking about that. You're supposed to be talking about the game, Nick. Toofy! If you are Riz Latif, uh, comment below. Hooray! Not to get mixed up with Queen Latifa, of course. Different people. Right. Uh, I, I, the thing with this game is you, it's, you need to get the nut on every screen. But if you, oh man! But if you don't get the nut on every screen, you can move on. So you could just do a bit of exploration if you wanted to. I'm losing quite a few lives in this uh, stage, in this screen. What is that alien thing? Is it just like a, a bread bin with a helicopter on the top? Maybe a little bit, little bit like a hero from Hero Returns. Check out that review a few weeks ago. A good addition to the original Hero game by Activision. Um, but um, not as good as the original, but it's still, it's still pretty good. Still pretty nifty. Oh, what, what am I doing here? Nick, concentrate, you fool. You're doing worse than last time. Well, we've come to expect it. It's, uh, it's not all about brilliant gameplay, as I say pretty much in every video. It's about having a bit of fun, eating a bit of stress, taking yourself away from the, the daily stresses of everyday life and seeing what the game will play like on your first or second go, really. But you can have a lot of fun with these 8-bit games, you really can. I'm glad they're still going. Right, down, down, deeper and down. I don't, I don't know what's controlling these um, these fans, but you can see there's two colours to them, yellow and white, which gives it a little bit of a shine to it, a little bit of definition, which is quite good to see. Oh, oh that's close. Don't, yeah, see, don't move across too early. I don't think it tells you how many nuts you've collected so far, does it? But I think it's uh, rest assured that the um, further you get into the game, the more nuts you will collect just automatically. Very interesting, it, some of these some of these levels. Oh, dear. Is that it? Game over. Well, I did worse than last time. Uh, one last goal. It does, it does have that... Um, well, you can always tell it's a good game when it's got that one element of one last goal. I just have one last goal. A bit like Licorice All Sorts, really. Uh, for me anyway, some people hate them, but I just have one last licorice all sort, and that's when there's half a box to go. Before you know it, there's none left. Right, I fancy some licorice all sorts now, and some Turkish Delight. Saw some saw some uh, Turkish Delight on um, on Amazon the other day by a company called Persis. I think you could buy it in one kilogram uh, uh, bags. You had banana, cherry, strawberry, I think even had Irish coffee flavour and Coca-Cola. I might have to, right, make a mental note, go and go there. Whoa! Right, but don't get killed by a bread bin with a helicopter on the top, that is for sure. Unless it might be a jukebox. What is it? A UFO or something? Right. Timing is everything. Well, where's that thing going? No. I think we might have to take a bit of a risk. Right, go for it. Ooh, that's close. Where's it going? 
No, can we get it? Boom. Oops, oh no, I've got to go all the way around again now. It's doing, doing my brain in. Right. To the side. I think as soon as it's going on the way up, I think that's it. Right, good. We pass it on one stage. So they, they're rebounding over stuff. There is some sort of algorithm in there. They're not coming after you as uh, such, like um, some Pac-Man games. It's just bouncing off everywhere. So you can sort of like plot the path it's going to go in and try and work your way around it. I don't know who's stolen Toofy's nuts, but he gets his nuts stolen in pretty much every game. In the second one, Winter Nuts got stolen by squirrels. In the third one, it was aliens. This time, it's um, unknown stuff that scattered it around this nightmare maze. Boof. Thank you very much. Acorns for me. And we're into the blue. We're gonna be into the blue. We're in the blue. We're in the blue. Be nice if we can get to another colour before this review is out, but you never know. So what can we say about this game so far? Uh, brilliant idea. Great graphics. Great start to what was to be a fantastic a trilogy of games. Uh, nice sound there. Uh, it's coded really well. I can't say anything bad about it, to be honest with you. And if it come back in the day, it would have been a, a, a super duper hit. Hooray for Toofy and everything he does. And it's not a Toofy racing game. It makes me think, really, because all three of the games have been so, so different and all good as well. Uh, it makes me think, if there was a fourth game, what direction would, would that go in? Yeah. Hmm. Don't know. It'd have to be a platformer again. But um, this, um, yeah, did, didn't copy any of these uh, fan ideas from the first game, the second and the third one. The second one's pretty much a more conventional platformer game. And the third one is just a single screen-based uh, one, getting gradually more difficult where you're jumping across columns to get nuts falling from the screen and not careering into the uh, the alien horde of stolen your nuts at that point. Yeah, well worth playing. All, all three of them are well worth playing. 2012 this one, 2013 Winter Nuts, then there's a bit of a gap, um, and then 2020 uh, Toofy's Nutty Nightmare. Boing, drop down there, right. So we're sort of like getting as far as I did on the first go almost now. Still six lives intact. Looking pretty nifty, not nifty lifty, which is another game. Uh, it's not a nifty lifty toothy out there, but there well could have been. Right, we're onto a different colours now. Magenta. So it's, I, I'll, I'll call this stage three. But, uh, it started off red, then blue, now into magenta. Nice. And you can see as well that the border colours are changing uh, too. Whoops. Yeah, missed a nut there. Uh, it's got yellow and cyan this time. Got this. I'm missing the occasional nut. That's probably going to come back to bite me if I ever completed the game. I've got to the last screen. Maybe, you, maybe you just keep. Oops. Maybe you just keep going round and round and round till you've got all the nuts. If you haven't completed the game, then let me know what happens at the end. Cause I'd be very interested to find out what happens. Oh, that's coming close. Cool. I just shave my left ear or right ear. Boom. Okay, so we've got as far into the game as we can do. It's literally my third go, so you can see it does grow on you. You will get gradually uh, better to a degree. That's my favourite enemy so far, that alien thing. Right, nuts away. That's another one got. It says score 1,300, so although I said it doesn't tell you how many nuts you've got, um, I suppose that's 13 if you're getting 100 each time. Boof. Right. Is it going to go to 1,400? Yeah, so we've got, we've got 14 nuts out of 40. So we're not even halfway through the game. Not even halfway through the game. So quite a few screens here to see. And we're to, well, dark blue and cyan. Oh, oh dear. I knew I'd gone too early there the second I'd done it. But you don't have to collect the nut again. It will remember. We should be able to just drop through there. Boom. Strange gravity going on in this game. Oh. Yes. Now, losing lives quite quickly here. Neat. Hmm. Cool. Yeah, that was close. I thought I'd done it then. Really, I should be using a bit more time to work out the patterns of this stuff. Right, that's it. Got the nut. That's an advantage. I think we've outwitted him. Goodbye. Oh, what's that? That's a new one. Hmm. Buff. Nut collected. Away we go. Oh, that's close. Buff. Right, okay, now. Suddenly getting a bit of distance here. Probably getting um, a bit away from the thing. Two of them. 
Now it's heating up now. The heat is on. Did it, did it, did it, did it, did it. No slowdown. No slowdown on the screen despite two enemies. Although I'm taking a bit more of a pasting. One life left. Ooh, come on, boys. You can do this. Right. Hey, so long, suckers. Yeah, we're gonna get we're gonna get two enemies on each. Oh, that was stupid. We're gonna get two enemies on each one now, and that is game over. Well, I really like that game. It's a uh, pretty special. Check out the whole trilogy. They're all brilliant games. Hope you liked having a look at that one. That's a cool homebrew. Toofy in Fanland on the Celex Retro 48K, published by Paul Jenkinson in 2012. Got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro? Then please put those comments below. You're always more than welcome. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.